Hi, this is Glenn from The Foodery. I'm here at the uh, Random Tea Room at 4th Street in uh, Northern Liberties. Today we're going to be making some tea-infused homebrew with the Liberties Brew Club. Let's check it out. I don't think that's a bad thing. The biggest problem is in a short period of time to take somebody like that. Yeah. <laughs> Try to even divine like what... Welcome to the tea room. Here we have the ingredients we're using in the homebrew tonight. Uh, and we're also going to be infusing the tea. And can you tell us a little bit about the tea? Hi, um, I'm Becky. I'm the tea room. Uh, we're going to be using an organic South Cloud. It is a Chinese red tea. It's got a smooth, slightly smoky. Brutal, like, full body yeah. flavor like, and so a lovely red and then hue. And then the rest of the ingredients in here, uh, we have three kinds of grains, some warm and carapil malts. What you do with these is that you uh, steep these like you would tea in a giant bag for about 20 minutes. Uh, then, then, yeah, then you bring that to a boil. Uh, you add some uh, extracts. And later on, we'll add the candy wait sugar, hops, and the yeast <laughs> come in a container like this. Uh, you boil for an hour, uh, and you can see it over here. Uh, then after that's done, it's ready for, uh, for the bucket and for bottling uh, two weeks later. Check it out over here. You have to be, uh, give it a slow boil, otherwise it'll boil over. But what do we got here? A nice uh, amber-colored uh, uh, malt right now. And an hour will be ready to uh, set up and uh, add the yeast. So that, that's about it. Uh, thanks for checking out the uh, process in your room. Have a good night. You could actually just, do you have a bathroom I have one that has but you're also kind of like when you get out kind of